that tip to a T. Bobby Knuckles, we all love you. We all love that nickname, buddy. Oh, stumps the takedown without issue. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Another big takedown. 45 seconds remain in the round. And he's back up. Up to the head there by Vittori. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. At the end of that round, he got knocked down just before the horn. Saved by the belt. So now back. All right, so a big knockdown for him. Courtesy of that. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round underway. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. You ready? Do it. All right, so here we go with the Reem. Alice Drover in early round one. More often than not, the judges not needed in nearly 60 pro fights for Alice Drover in. We'll see how he chooses to attack this challenge early. Overeem gets caught by that straight punch there. Another strike to the head lands. Just out of range with that right hand. And he blocks the shot there. So more output, at least in the early going. Out of range with that one. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Big, straight left. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy. That is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Just over three minutes to go. Another nice combination to the head. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Overeem. Just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Alexander Gustafs. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Get out of there. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all his cover strikes. 
Gustafson's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Gustafson gets tapped. Oh, yeah, he hurt that. Back to his feet. done to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Right, look. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Oh, oh, yeah. oh gotta keep pressing here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was. All right, so there's the end of the round. So five minutes in the can, DC. Now Ready we get fight. to our second round. Ready. Alistair Oakley and Alexander Gustafson. Clipped him with the right hand there. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Good punch, man. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's still standing after taking that punch. Big right hand. That one landed clean. Well, no feeling. Oh. Strike gets through. Dean steps in. Oh my goodness! What a fight! So how about that? As he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritizes the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, his flying knee knockout for Sean Coulter in his UFC debut is always going to be hard to top, but increasingly tied to Ivasa has been doing just that. The knockout victims continue to pile up, and I know we talk a lot about Tuivasa outside the octagon, fun guy to party with. He is all of that, but this is a scary, scary heavyweight contender once that octagon door closes. Nice defense to block that punch. Beautiful right hook counter. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does it. Oh, oh man, it's a big shot, too. Oh, man, I can barely get the fight clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight. 
fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Oh, uppercut. Oh! Great block. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to pull it. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Tui Vasa's no. Oh, no! Oh, a huge block there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, nice. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. All right, he's been very clean. Oh! oh! All right, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by knockout, Muhammad Ali. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round one underway. There is Henry Cejudo. The messenger has drawn a lot of confidence from recent UFC fights against Demetrius Johnson. Joseph Benavidez has taken down most of his UFC opponents, including Johnson. We'll see if Cejudo chooses to shoot here early. You see how tight Cejudo's boxing is, DC, how comfortable he is in the pocket. This is a man who never rests on his laurels. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Oh, man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. He's hurting them bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh. And landing some nasty strikes. Just over three minutes to go. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. 
So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. Oh, big shot, man. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. A different oh. oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Unable to connect there. Finish, finish. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Done. So Hudo's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Lands to the body. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Oh! Big moments stuck on both sides in round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see all right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on them. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, we see this a lot, DC, but this instance, it's particularly surprising. <laughs> This might be the biggest shot. And a massive down to it. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early action here in this round featuring the Nigerian-American Sadiq Youssef actually became a U.S. citizen during the training camp for his fight against Andre Gilly at UFC 246. That ended up at that time being his sixth consecutive win. And there is very much a method to the madness of the Lloyd Irvin trained Sadiq Youssef. Doesn't force the issue, but believes tonight that he is going to be able to expose this particular opponent and that the finish will, in fact, materialize. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the afternoon. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Oh, just opening up on him now. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Yusuf's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Fast jab lands there. Straight punch lands. 
Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Shot is blocked. Yusuf's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close him. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. the guard now stacked guard oh he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut oh. round two is next oh. right the truck is producing ready to fight ready round two is on the way oh, nice jab by Goose. up he is back on the feet looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground but he worked hard there to get back to the feet all right so he continues to land a high volume of strikes you know sometimes oh, he's in real trouble now big left hand there inside oh, that is it oh my goodness yeah man crowd loving it just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight really just the way he drew it up he found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the UFC back in Abu Dhabi tonight with much fanfare as you would expect. We're inside the Etihad Arena, which of course has hosted many UFC events dating to its opening back in 2020. It's gold. It's a gold arena. It's beautiful. This place is top notch. From top to bottom, it is absolutely stunning. The fights, though, have been the reason that we keep coming back. They have always been good, and the energy in the crowd is like nothing we see in many places. Nice combination. The combinations are flowing. Michael Chandler gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. The power of Chandler is a sight to behold, man. He's so dangerous. He's so strong physically. And he has so much belief in his strength and his ability to fight at a high pace that he won't slow down. 
All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think he's a He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he's locked his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down into the opponent's neck to try to choke him up and finish the fight. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, he's working for the sub. Waning seconds here of this opening round. All right, close guard now. Uh, Boom, set for the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a round it was for him. Two knocks. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, huge right hand from Michael Chandler yet again, and not only like he landed on Dan Hooker a few years back. I mean, Michael Chandler is a beast. One of the best athletes he has in the UFC. He works extremely hard, and he's one of those guys that you just want to root for. He's got great power. But don't forget about that wrestling background that allows Chandler to get those hands to drop in. Then you're going to take him down and then up over the top that overhand right lane. Oliveira's eye is closing up. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Chandler. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out here just a few moments ago. He's almost unrecognizable. He's been hit so many times in the face. The swelling started early. We spoke about trying to defend it. We spoke about making adjustments. He didn't, and now he finds himself here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Swing and a miss by Oliveira. That's the danger in the engagement there. Chandler gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, how about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble, champ. He's hurt. Now swollen shot. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Oh, 
Chandler's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Trying to go and pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, good news is the round is over. All right, so back to the... You ready? You ready? Third yeah. round underway. He did a great job of blocking that punch. I'll stop this. You better fight back. I want you to get this fight aside. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. <clears throat> Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, I don't know. That blue hook looks tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shot. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, what's good to here? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Oliveira. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh, my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Your hook looks tight. Oh, he got out. Both fighters get up now. Well, you really hope that damage like this doesn't stay with him throughout his mixed martial arts career, but I'd be okay with not seeing him take another head strike at this point. No, it's over. You can tell that the fight is done. It's on the ringside position or the corner to take a closer look and stop this fight. Nice crack there. Chandler's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Job blocking that attempt. Oh! Back to the feet now. Now we're going. All right, pausing the action here. The referee never wants to be the story, but given the swelling around that eye, doctor had to be called for here, champ. Well, he's having a very difficult time picking up the opponent, seeing where his opponent is, and he's getting tagged. He's getting pieced up. Nope, there it is. Doctor waves off the fight. Certainly an unfortunate end to this one, but you have to protect a one-eyed fighter. Absolutely. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO Iron Michael Chandler. All right, so perhaps that finish will produce some bonus coin, DC. We told you guys off the top the wrestler did have some advantage. Ready to fight? Ready.
All right, early round action here. Our fighter meeting with Colby Covington was pretty telling this weekend so far as he talked a lot about trying to lean on his striking. Takedowns maybe are gonna be a backup plan here tonight, but you know he always can lean on that if need be. But he talked very much like a striker this week and believes he is gonna get the knockout here against this particular opponent. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Nasty body kick downstairs. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. All right, so there's Colby Covington showing off those improved hands yet again. Never looked better than the fight against Robbie Lawler. On that night in Europe, everything came together for Colby. Big punch lands through the middle. He's got to try to get this fight to the ground. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Six total strikes and counting, and now landed for Colby Covington. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, he gets caught again there by another hook. He's connected on a few so far here in this round. Right back to it there. Under two minutes to go. Able to rip the body there. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on a good... Oh! Good. Big knee there to the chest. Oh! Yeah. Oh! This one could be over soon. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, so here is Jared Cannonier as we get the early portions of this round underway. Physically, he looks incredible. Looks like he was cut out of a piece of granite, but mentally, you can argue, he actually puts in even more work. He has talked to us a lot about meditation and visualization, visualizing everything from the walk to the finish of this fight. This man holds crystals, and DC, maybe if you're lucky, he'll actually uh, let you borrow one of those visualization crystals. You never know. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. There you go. Per Manson's pass attempt denied. Oh, lands with that elbow again. Hermanson's got him in a crucifix now, going to go to work from the top. Big ground and pound. Well, he has done some serious damage with What's these that? elbows, DC, and if you're on the other side, you got to figure out a way to stop this from happening. you got to get those hands up. you got to block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top, and now you can see the swell. Hey, scramble, get up! Scramble! Scramble, get up! 
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Cannoneer. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Getting the ball here. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. Huge head strike there, nicely done by Hermanson. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game yeah. tonight. And now they're starting to pile. Starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Kennedy. Final seconds of round one. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right oh. into his full guard. What does he do? All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books, You ready to fight? Ready. All right, yeah. second round underway. And there's that jab. All right, so here we are, new round, and still not much in terms of volume from this kickbox. So you look at the highlight reel, and... All these bodies are switching on the canvas. He wants to throw a kick to He won't throw a kick, John. He told us. He goes, I am a high-level kick boxer. Kick is the first word. You've got to use your kicks. You're so good at it. Why are you so one-dimensional today? I don't understand why he is not using all of his weapons. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Hermanson gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh. They're running out. Side control. Hermanson's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, oh elbow lands flush. Hermanson's in half throw. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Oh. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. Oh, elbow from the bottom there by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Hermanson. He's a lot of good movement. Well, it's hard to win a fight working off of your back, but that elbow is useful. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, hammer fist here by Hermanson. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end. All right, so there's the end. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Third Four. round underway. Pretty strong jab there by Hermansen. Oh, his timing was impeccable on that takedown. Elbow lands. Cannoneers in half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Hermanson gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, he's got his back. He's got an isolated hip to try to break that lock. Break the lock is step number one to escape. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio... Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Can an ear ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, vicious elbows here by Cannoneer. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up. He throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Cannoneer, grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Hermanson's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to... Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would, what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But the people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Here's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. That's how you control the fight. Well played shot there, DC. He is officially up. A big, massive hook. Oh, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end. All right, so there's the horn. You ready? You ready? All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land his hook shot. Misses with the jab there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fights in. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. You take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the oh, oh! Big knee there. He can't even stand. Back to the feet. That shot blocked by Kennedy. What a great sequence by a mix 
finishing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about oh, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly and it hurt his opponent very bad. Lands a nice one too. Most of them upstairs, and when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. and best strikers on planet Earth, Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira. Adesanya was expecting that this challenge would come around, and it seems to have taken his focus to an even higher level. It's taken his focus to a higher level, but I cannot imagine he would have expected it to happen this fast. Yeah. Pereira has stormed up the middleweight rankings and finds himself now there across the octagon from a familiar folk. If there is a guy that can stand with the champion, it is Alex Pereira, and I'm excited to watch these two compete. Beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right hand. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places. Shot there on the inside. He's hit now. He turned out high enough into that uppercut. And it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Big right hand there. Ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent is positive, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Adesanya is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh! And that was Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Perhaps Tom Aspinall could win this fight if it was just a kickboxing match, but he has got a decided grappling advantage, and most people believe eventually if this fight hits the floor in transition, Tom Aspinall will be able to find a submission. Oh, no feeling out cross 
success, folks. Here we go. Edge of your seat action right out of the shoot. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job streaming the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Slice gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over he's throwing it and he's a boxer so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance so it's not something the mma fighters used to see it that strike blocked by Aspinall. all right so now blood is a factor you see that he has been opened up in that eye area yes i'm not sure his opponent knows where he is no he is on b street right now he's seeing tweety bird over the top of his head when you take a hook like that you are on wobbly leg So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Let's go. Get off Big elbow there, Lance. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here or what? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Heavy leather land. Oh! Big knee to the body. And now some knees. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Great block there. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, a follow-up shot that will get him. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. All right, so there's the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down. Ready, fight? Ready. All right, round two. Front kick to the body by Aspinall. Oh, oh you got to start to look to finish him now. Continue to hold up. He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Yeah, I'm hurting a little bit. That hurt bad. Back to his feet. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters are I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands. He's it's over. It's over. Whoa! <laughs> so what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire, how about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, 
It was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.